Well, hey guys, I'm gonna give this Zoela headband that I got in my Fabfit Fun Box a test run. I don't like having my ears compressed. Does anyone else like that? Because when they when they are like underneath something, they get like really red and irritated. I don't know how people can stand to have their A viewer and fellow physician reached out to me. She started a skincare brand called Skincare by Kara, and she sent me this towel that's like very soft to absorb the drips off of my face, like when I wash my face. Yeah, she shared her story with me and I was really touched by it. I've tried some of her skincare products. They're really nice. She has a cleansing oil pumpkin seed oil, borage seed oil. It's really nice. <clears throat> and it also has green tea extract and then a gentle cleansing cream. That's like a nice um, creamy cleanser. It has ceramide in it. These are both free of fragrance. And she also sent me her moisturizer. It has um, matcha green tea in it. So it has like a, a bit of a brownish greenish hue to it, but it's really nice and light. It also has ceramide, sodium hyaluronate, and panthenol. I don't believe it's available in the US yet. I'm just gonna put the facial moisturizer on here. All right, now that that's absorbed, I'm coming in with the pure screen. I'm on the light tint. I finished the medium tint. I got a comment the other day from one of you all who said that you got this after seeing me put it together. Yeah, it really keeps everything organized for me, but as you can see, I could not resist getting more pens. I got these Papermate Ink Joys recently, uh, and I'm loving those. So <laughs> I may need to get another one of these to, to accommodate my pen habit. I haven't tried this brown pen yet. I don't know. Brown seems like like a risky ink. What do you guys think for a pen? Like blue and black are some of the best inks. This yellow ink, I can't see myself using too often. Maybe to cross things out. I love writing in purple though and turquoise. I think it's just a nice deviation from the standard blue and black inks. <laughs> and of course pink. But like this orange is another shade that I don't know that I'm gonna use too much. For example, in the Pilot G2, I rarely use these orange shades. Maybe to make like little check boxes or something, but my favorites are gonna be pink, purple, blues, and turquoises. I don't know if I've shown you guys this yet. YouTube sent me this light <laughs> as a thank you for participating in a Zoom call, giving them some feedback. Isn't that fun? It's my channel name and a little play button. Well, hey guys, I'm here at Walmart. Is anyone else like me? I cannot keep these things in to save my life. This type of earplug, I have the worst ear shape for earplugs or earbuds. I can't do them, they're always gonna fall out. Um, but when I was in med school, I used to shove these in my ears. It's like this wax that you can shove in there um, or silicone putty, I guess. These always worked well, but I don't know how good they are for your ears. <laughs> I saw no cow bars came out with these dipped ones. Has anyone tried these? They kind of look good. I went through a phase where I was really into the no cow bars and then I kind of burnt out of them. They have an odd texture, uh, but I'm curious as to if the dipped ones are any good. These can be really handy when you're traveling. Ah, friendly reminder, these, really popular to use this time of year, fluticasone nasal spray helps with seasonal allergies. 
itchy, watery eyes, but can also be a trigger for periorificial dermatitis. Uh, so if you're getting like little breakouts around your nose, around your mouth, it might be related to these. Yeah, fluticasone is a corticosteroid, and so it can trigger it can trigger uh, periorificial dermatitis, which if you've ever had is is a bear to get rid of. I find these saline nasal sprays to be helpful though for seasonal allergies for me personally. Um, I mean, it's just saline, so um, it just kind of helps flush out. I don't know, the allergens and whatnot. Aha, the saga continues. So they have the Dove Dermacare scalp here at Walmart, 488. And like mine, this one has phenoxyethanol, not methyl chloroisothiazolinone. Speaking of hair care, this is a line from Garnier Fructis that I think is only available at Walmart, but it's really good. Like, this is a great clarifying shampoo. Uh, if you live somewhere with hard, live somewhere with hard water, or you have um, you have uh, a lot of product buildup, this is really good. And then this is great if you have more of an oily scalp. I really like that. Uh, and then I've tried the conditioner, an anti residue scrub for the scalp. Um, this they all have fragrance in them, so if you're allergic, you have to avoid. But they're pretty good. Speaking of scalp buildup, I love these shampoo brushes. Man, this has really just changed the game for me. Well, not this specific one, but I use so much less shampoo now and I get my scalp. I feel like I'm getting it all over my scalp much, much better. Just a tiny amount. I was using way too much shampoo, I think pre-brush. I have a couple of denim shorts that I get from Amazon that I love, um, but Levi's are always really good. This dress is kind of cute. Free assembly. It's like a. It's cute. And then they have a matching set. They have one in yellow that looks really cute. I don't know if you guys can see it back there. Here's the yellow one. Kind of cute, like a house dress. The skirt is nice. And scoop. I've heard good things about Scoop. It's so funny, because when I lived in New York, Scoop was like a boutique store, and it was always like really expensive. But now they're in Walmart. They have been for a while. Ooh, this t-shirt's cute. The little mushrooms. I have one with the sunflowers. I remember when those were popular in the 90s. Man, I swear, I just got out of bed, did my skincare routine, and now the sun is going down. I never thought I would say this, but I am champing at the bit for spring forward to be in effect. Uh, I, of the daylight savings times uh, changes, I detest the spring forward because it's just not, you know, pleasant. I'm not a morning person to begin with, and so to force me to enter the world prematurely, it's just... Uh, but I... I am looking forward to having more daylight because I like to be outside this time of year and it's frustrating because when I vlog I like to have full light. First world problems I guess but I like ranting about daylight savings time because I feel like it's got to go. I'm, I'm a huge advocate of erasing daylight savings time. It's one of those things that I just keep repeating over and over again. You'll hear me repeat when it comes time for it to be daylight. It, it, and it stresses me out because one year daylight savings time. See, I know a lot of you in other countries, you don't do the daylight savings time. So it screws with your YouTube routine, because right? Um, that's what y'all have told me. Um, you'd be like, why are you changing your, why are you changing your upload time? I'm not changing my upload time. The government is with their daylight savings time thing. Um, that's what that is. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's weird that we have to do that in my opinion, which no one asked for, but I'm giving it to you. I'm going to go in Burlington Coat Factory. It's been a long, long, long time, but why not? You know, why not? I don't really feel... I'm just feeling like being out and about and Burlington Coat Factory sounds like a rip roaring good time. And if that does not deliver on expectations, then 
what what else can I say? You'll never know. You'll never know unless you try. We could go on coals too. Does anyone else get in a parking lot and they start getting like way too way too comfortable with the pull through action? That's what I'm doing right now. You know where you pull, you're like, oh, well, I think this space in front of me is a little bit better. I think I'll pull through. And then you're like, well, maybe I'll go over there. And you pull through. It's like a light, will you? Well, that is one sad Easter bunny. Nothing says I love you like a chocolate bunny with its face <laughs> melting off. <laughs> that being said, this is really cute. I, love, I always get attracted to these throws. But, um... I resist the temptation. Oh my god, they have the gnome here with ears. Come on. Ugh. What is this? Brush buddy? Oh, that's cute for teaching your child to brush their teeth. The doll is there to coax them on. I don't know how that's going to help though. I mean, when I was a child, I would have just wanted to play with the doll and ignored my toothbrush. I have some nice looking sweaters. The jams are pumping in Burlington Coat Factory, y'all. Oh. This is a good place to get joggers. Yeah. Hey, baby. Hey, hey. I remember this store, like, used to be really, like, you were, you were living the luxe life if you were shopping at Bebe. Because it was expensive. I'm sure, does it still exist? Well, obvi obviously, in some capacity it does. Um, but back in the day, I remember that being like, oh, speaking of stuff that was a luxe life, Juicy Couture was like, very early 2000s. That was like, you were rich if you were rocking that. Oh, this brand, they sell at Marshalls from time to time. And it's quite good. I don't know what it's called. Well, let's look at the tag. 90 degree by reflex. Don't get that confused with gastric reflux. <laughs> that's a little, that's a little upper endoscopy joke there. <laughs> we have some running shorts here. I do wonder if some brands are just default straight to like these types of stores because I've never seen 90 degree reflux outside of like a TJ Maxx. Home, uh, well, Home Goods doesn't typically sell clothes. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross type outfit. Like, I've never just seen it in a stand up big box retail store. Dance Skin. I think you can get this on Amazon, Dance Skin. I've purchased sports bras from them before that have been decent. Speaking of which, they have a nice collection here. That's vibrant. Oh, it looks so different in my viewfinder. It looks yellow in my viewfinder, but it's like neon green. I wonder how it's gonna look in editing and production. Only time will tell what you, what you guys see here, but trust me, sometimes colors look different when I get them on film. Uh, that looks comfortable and supportive. How much is that? $7.99, not too bad. This is a place to get, this is a place to get sports bras. What in the, that does not look comfortable. Electric yoga, I, no, that looks, that looks very, like it's too, it's too humid here for this to work for anyone. I have quite the luggage selection here. Kenzie and Travelers Club. If you are in the need for luggage, this would be a good place to peruse for a dealio. Shower curtains. Man, I have been sleeping on on what store is this? Burlington Coat Factory? I haven't. My shower curtain is Ellen DeGeneres and it's held up well. Organizing baskets, a plenty. The water bottle is trying to suck me in. I'm not falling for it. I have enough of you. I have enough of you. Look away. Look away. Oh, look away from that big one. 
check it out. They have advanced clinicals here. Um, they don't have the retinol, but they have the hyaluronic acid instant skin hydrator. They, this one does have fragrance, but you can get these, sometimes you can get them on Amazon, but they're often sold at Walmart and they're like under five, usually around $5. So I wouldn't come to Burlington for that. The Advanced Clinicals Cracked Heal Relief one has um, lactic acid which and, and urea. Both of those are really good for softening and exfoliating callus. This one is, uh, is scented, however. But uh, yeah, what's it? Ooh, they have the L'Oreal Paris Revital Lift Anti-Wrinkle and Firming Moisturizer. I think this has retinol palmitate in it, so not, not retinol. Um, just an antioxidant. This does have fragrance, but the Centella uh, is anti-inflammatory, may help with healing and recovery of the barrier. What's, oops, it just jumped on me. What's this hydrating facial cleanser? Revitalizing action. Okay, $3.99. I was thinking it might have, it's scented, so there's trigger -ons. Um Argon oil, not much to say about that. Well, Burlington Coat Factory did not disappoint. I tell you, they're having some issues going on with their sign right now. It looks like Bulinto. That's what the store looks like right now, Bulinto. Because the R, the G, and the N are gone. They're, well, they're, the lights are not on. They're up there, but no one's home. Bulinto. Boo Lento. I would not want to be the person whose job it is to get up there and change the light bulbs and the words on the signs. Because what? Boo Lento is going to close in probably, actually they're open pretty late. They're open till 10 and it's quarter till 7 right now. So they've got some hours to go. But uh, yeah, I would not want to be responsible for, for changing the light bulbs and the sign. Plus it's probably got to be a special kind of light bulb. We're gonna call it Bulinto from here on out. It'll be our inside joke. See, only only the vlogs will know. I'll talk about going to Bulinto, and somebody will go online and Google what is she talking about Bulinto. They'll try and find what Bulinto is. It'll just be between between you and me, Bulinto. Anyway, I'm gonna head on on home. I'll check in with you guys. Probably when I get out of the shower. Well, hey guys, I just hopped out of the shower. Tonight, I tried another cleansing oil uh, because a few weeks ago, I shared with you guys how the peach and lily one is a bit, I don't wanna say bad, it's just, you know, you're kind of expecting, at $35, it's almost like you're expecting it to take you out to dinner. It's not bad though, it does the job. So I also wanted to try out the, uh, this is the Beauty of Joseon, uh, Ginseng Cleansing Oil. This, is a lot thinner than this in consistency. It's more, it's more of like a lightweight oil. This one has an odor of a smoothie shop, like uh, a juice bar. That's exactly what this smells like. It's nice, but that aroma is just like when you walk into a juice bar. Uh, kind of an interesting experience, I will say, but uh, yeah, it emulsified well. It's got um, soybean oil and Penix ginseng oil, which I'm guessing is what gives it that aroma. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've tried this one. Now with cleansing oils, they're not necessary. Like you should be able to remove, like your sunscreen, your, I don't wanna say makeup, but you should be able to remove sunscreen with just a basic cleanser. Like the double cleansing thing is not necessary. Um, but in my experience, it helps. It helps a lot. It just makes it a lot easier. Now, when we're talking about makeup, for sure you need something before going in with just your face wash to break that up and get it off. You can't convince me otherwise because I have tried to wash off just like the most basic non-water resistant mascara off with just a regular cleanser and it's like raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes, raccoon eyes. It's just too much effort. The oil helps dissolve that and then it just rinses away really easily. Speaking of rinses away really easily in terms of eye makeup, um, this tubing mascara comes off like, it's almost like you're peeling paint off, except it's like tubes coming off of your eyelashes. I'm still loving this, by the way. I saw it at HEB, for those of you Texans, um, if you wanted to try it out. 
Now, today, I gave this a go. This came in my FabFitFun box, and I actually really liked it. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Fembot Lipstick Match Trans... Matte lipsticks, for me, it's like, I find that, I don't know, I don't usually like them, but I also don't like super glossy. For me, lip color is, I'm really picky. Um, but I liked this. It was not uh, an uncomfortable matte. Here's the color, what it looks like. You guys saw it in the wild today. And speaking of lip color, this I busted out. I, re I purchased this, I want to say last spring. I purchased it in duplicate. And so I um, went ahead and opened a new one. It's the Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. These are so good. I'm not being hyperbolic on that at all. Um, these are really good. And I love the Radiant Rose color. It's like the perfect spring shade. It's like a nice bright pink. And the gloss is, is not sticky. And it's got a hyaluronic acid. It really leaves the lips soft and supple. There's no, there are no flavorants, which are a common reason for lip irritation. There are no flavorants. Uh, there's no like, cinnamon, which can really be irritating. There's no camphor, which is what you find in Carmex. Now camphor can be anti-inflammatory, but it's also kind of irritating and a common allergen. It's like slippery slope. This has castor seed oil in it, which you can become allergic to. It's kind of a, not a super common allergen, but definitely one that people develop allergies to. Um, but it's frequently in lip products. I don't have any issue with castor seed oil. The other one that I've tried and wear a lot is um, it does have, it's got something in it that makes your lips tingle and is, is, can be irritating. I only wear it like once in a while, but I do really like it and it stays on well. It's the um, C City Beauty. City Beauty lip glosses. Those are really nice. I just wish they didn't have that tingling scent experience. Like if they took that out and just made the lip glosses, without that tingle action that makes them irritating. Um, because the intention is to plump up your lips. I don't like that. Um, I wish they would do away with that and just make them as is because they're really nice. Like they stay on really well. So I've tried those. These, oh my gosh, these are, these are a favorite. The Etude Fixing Tints. These are like a hydrated, they, these are somehow a hybrid between matte and glossy. Uh, and these are really nice on your cheeks too as a blush. These are these are really good. Like if I want a hydrating gloss, I'm reaching for Hydra Boost. But if I want like to look like I'm wearing a lipstick but it's not high maintenance, these. Because these don't transfer. They don't get on your teeth. They don't get all over your face. They don't make a mess. If you need to wear a mask, they're not gonna transfer onto that. These are, these are like the, the best, honestly. Alright y'all, unexpected like launch into my lip favorites, <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this vlog. I hope you liked it. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!